A pleasant day, everyone. I am Gwyneth B. Adoro. I am Anami P. Pulao. I am Archie Jen B. Silot. I am Shumaya Revel Dukot. I am Angela Rigondola. I am Maria Teresa Rodriguez. I am Gianna Georgia Tweldan, and we proudly present our research study on profitability and service quality analysis for Converge Information and Communications Technology Solutions Incorporated. Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated is a telecommunication service provider in the Philippines. It is involved in a service type business organization and it has an ex exclusive focus on serving the Filipinos with industry leading optical fiber based connectivity services. Converge started in a cable television provider in Angeles, Pampanga. It was named Comclerk Network and Technology Corporation. On August 8, 2009, the Congress of the Philippines established the Republic Act No. 9707, granting them a franchise to build telecommunication systems throughout the Philippines. Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated was created. The company was founded in 2012 by Dan. Dennis Anthony H. Uy, together with his wife, Maria Grace Y. Uy. Currently, Dennis Uy is the executive director, serving as the chief executive officer of the company, while his wife, Maria Grace Y. Uy, is the chief resources officer and executive director of the company. On the other hand, here are the board of trustees of the company. As for the company's state, the financial highlights of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated reflect a favorable trend on its profitability from the year 2018 to 2020 due to the pandemic, growing dependence of the humankind to digital technologies, lack of consumers' choice in selecting internet service providers, service offers to their potential customers, and the buildup of the company's marketing and advertising on popular media. Yet, the firm faces concerns on the intermittent internet quality and service customer of the business entity. Hence, there is a need to find the association of the company's community profitability on improving the services of the company. This study sought to assess the following. First, if profit, how will they maintain the, pro the profit in the long run? If lost, how will they survive or what will they do to make it profitable? Second, what are the factors affecting the profitability of Converge ICT solutions? Third, what are the implications of their market structure and their profitability highlights? And lastly, what is the correlation of, of their profitability status and the services they offer in the market? This paper specifically aims to crit critically analyze the flexible capability of Converge Information and Communication Technology Solutions Incorporated to operate. Next, to discuss and generate solutions to the current problems regarding profitability and services of the company. Third, to assess the current financial performance of the Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated. Fourth, to correlate the theory of supply and demand with the profitability of the company. Fifth, is to identify different variables affecting the profitability of the business. Sixth, is to determine the several variables that influence the service quality of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated. And next, to track the profitability trend of the Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated. And lastly, to discover the implications of the profitability of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated with the advances of its services offered in the market. The purpose of this study is to understand and analyze the profitability of Converge ICT Solutions together with the different factors affecting its financial performance and operational services. In addition, the study will also provide recommendations on how the company can improve their profitability and services despite the inevitable presence of external and internal factors. Also, the study aims to benefit the public, consumers, business entities, lenders, investors, the researchers, and most importantly, the Converge ICT solution itself. To define some important words, profitability is a, quanti is a quantity of a company's income relative to cost and expenses. The formula is profit equals to total revenue minus total cost. Meanwhile, financial performance is an independent measure of how well a firm can utilize assets from its main mode of business and produce revenues and profits from it. While service quality is an assessment of supposed expectations of a service with seeming performance. However, the researchers acknowledge that the study has limitations 
which includes the year not stated in the 2020 annual report of the company, limited time framework, and inadequate resources which hinder comparability assessment. The researchers use quantitative research design to address the research objectives and answer the research questions. This research revolves on profit, service quality, and factors affecting it that are obtained from the research sources and may need from the published annual financial statement of the company. To address the aim of this research, the data was gathered from secondary sources in identifying profitability, good service quality, and the relating factors of profitability and good service quality, the researchers analyze using studies, articles, and literature which are related to this research. So let's come now to the theoretical framework. So my theoretical framework revolves around the establishment of the accounting equation in relation with the customer's perspective of good service, which is an essential part of the cycle of the company's profitability. Theories involved in the theoretical framework are risk and uncertainty, bearing theory, compensatory theory, monopoly theory, innovation theory, and modern theory of profit, which tackles that profit is a product of the risk and inputs given by the entity in a specific business or industry that meets the supply and demand of entrepreneurs in terms of profitability. Additionally, it also states that the market structure of a company greatly affects its profitability due to the presence of competition and capital requirement for different industries. All of the theories involved in the revenue part always root to the theory of supply and demand that will eventually create revenue. Moreover, the costs are indicated in the entity's financial statements that also roots from the factors of production which enables the company to provide service that will result in the profit formula, which is revenue minus cost. After that, the customer's perspective of good service includes several theories that only emphasizes one point. A satisfied customer will bring profit to the company in a cyclical manner. With this, customers and good ser service of the company plays a vital role in the company's profitability cycle. Without the subscriber of Converge, the company will not gain profit from its operations and will greatly incur losses due to fixed and variable costs. So furthermore, presented here are the determinants of profitability of Converge ICT solutions, which made them the leading internet service provider in the country. These determinants affect the trend of the company that may vary depending on the market structure and market situation. My theoretical framework focuses on profitability and service quality of the entity. To sum it up, when you own a business, you must keep track of whether or not it is profitable because profitability is one of the most important goals of any business. Calculating your profit not only help you to determine your level of success, but also provide information about where your company makes money and where it spends money. You can calculate your company's profit by deducting all the expenses from total revenue. Aside from that, the entity should consider a lot of things to make their product profitable. To confirm, we may use the profit equation, profit equals to revenue minus cost. One of the 10 economic principles is that intelligent individual think at the periphery. So in order to maximize the profit that, make the, comp that the company make, they must increase the amount of goods produced. It is preferable to make granular modifications so that the expense does not exceed the profit. Service quality can provide a, a competitive advantage. Consider a strategy that enables manufacturers to direct quality initiatives to areas where they may they will have greatest impact on profitability. Customer satisfa satisfaction primarily depends on the quality of services it gets. It can say, safely be hypothesized by better service quality would lead to higher satisfaction with results in higher profitability of a company. My theoretical framework is mainly focused on the four theories of profit. It is the risk-bearing theory, dynamic theory, innovative theory, and uncertainty-bearing theory of profit. According to Howley, risk-bearing theory states that profit is the reward for risk-taking in business. It includes the four kinds of risks such as replacement, obsolescence, risk proper, and uncertainty. 
it is said that the first two risks are calculated and therefore they are insured, but the other two risks are unknown and unforeseen risk. The second theory is the dynamic theory. According to Clark, profit is the reward for dynamic changes in society. In this theory, the main idea that is pointed out is that there is no profit that can arise in a static society. And because there is no profit in the static society, entrepreneurs have no roles in this society. The third theory is the innovation theory. As for computer, profit is the reward of innovation. To obtain profit, an innovator needs to innovate continuously. The real innovators do so. Initiative entrepreneurs cannot innovate. The fourth theory is the uncertainty theory. The fourth theory is the uncertainty theory. Uncertainty. The fourth theory is the uncertainty bearing theory. As for night, profit is the reward of bearing uncertainties which are in, which are not insurable, but the risk can be insured. The risks which are unpredictable or uninsurable are known as uncertainties. The changes in the demand and supply conditions in the market leads to entrepreneurs to uncertainty. When new firms enter the market, it increases competition among themselves and the profit existing firms becomes uncertain. My theoretical framework focuses on how customer satisfaction affects the company's profitability. As you can see in the presentation, I use hypotheses to explain the different factors. I also use graphs, data, and surveys to support my claim. The first hypothesis is all about uh, the variable service quality has a significant effect on customer satisfaction in the purchase of service offered by Converge ICT solution. Variable service quality is a company's tangibles, responsiveness, assurance, and empathy. The second hypothesis is all about variable customer satisfaction or having a significant effect on uh, customer loyalty. Customer satisfaction is based on product quality, uh, service quality, emotional factors, and price. The third hypothesis is all about the uh, variable product quality uh, having a significant effect on customer loyalty. Variable product quality is the company's performance, reliability, features, um, dur durability, conformance, and design. And the last hypothesis is the service quality has a significant effect on customer loyalty. And uh, as we know that customer's loyalty is the result of satisfying customer. It includes the frequency of product use and uh, repeat purchases. My theoretical framework focuses on the behavior of consumers in their decision making. I believe that this factor affects the profitability of a business. Think of it as their criteria whether they pass the preference of the consumers or not. I discuss social media platforms, problem recognition, alternatives, profitability of the business, influence, and preferences. Marketing through social media platforms greatly affects and influences the decision of a consumer whether they would want to buy an item or not. Especially in this generation, people now use social media for advertisements. Problem recognition is also one of the factors. It's about how can the business and the consumer recognize the problem of the issue, wherein the solution to that problem is the business product or the business service. Also, alternatives are part of the list. It's about how consumers weigh in their options, whether company A is better than company B. Moreover, the profitability of the business can also be an important factor, as it can show the consumers if the business is able to function even in the long run. If the business could suffice their needs in the long term, we also have influences from other people. It could also affect their decision making. It's like a way of marketing but through people's criticism whether a product or service is good or bad. Lastly, consumers also have their own preferences or taste. So most of the time, the product that they buy or the service that they avail is based from their preferences. 
all in all, a business should be able to provide those in order for them to make sure that they satisfy their consumers and that they pass their so-called. My theoretical framework revolves around some theories that I have mentioned regarding business profitability to game theory. It is a study of how people behave in a strategic situation. Also, it is a way of analyzing outcomes of choices and actions to act upon by independent people and organizations. In this theory, it applies mathematical approach and method of analysis. It is a way of considering how other parties respond to the outcome of one's action. I have listed three types of game theory in line with economics and business strategies. The non cohesive game theory involves firms which are independent as they do not interact and influence others' firms' actions. They set their own prices for their products and services. Also, in this theory, outputs are produced based entirely on the firm itself. No interaction takes place in this kind of theory. Rivals' price and output do not affect each other. Market share increases through competition in the market. Next is the collusive game theory. It takes, takes place when collusion between firms exists. It occurs when firms make decisions and act together. This reduces competition between firms. They act like a monopoly, which eventually leads to increase in profits. Lastly, Nash, equilib Nash equilibrium game theory happens when players choose their own strategy. It involves interaction between different, different participants. No parties can gain by a unilateral change of strategy if the strategies of the other participants remain the same. Overall, my output is based on the theoretical and conceptual frameworks on profitability of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated, which encompass the methods and schemes on pricing, production, and profit maximization relative to the company's market structure, which is oligopoly. More so, it showcases that profitability concepts are mainly based on its basic formula and it can also be based on its relative factors such as but are not limited to innovation, risks, and uncertainties. Pricing methods, on one hand, may be dependent on the cost acquired by the company, demand of the consumers, and competition among few sellers in the market. Meanwhile, the production costs of Converge are mainly rooted from the cost of of its services and to analyze its implications, the production function theory is used. As for the profit maximization of Converge Information and Communications Technology Solutions Incorporated, it is derived from the characteristics of an oligopolistic market structure which equates marginal revenue to marginal cost. However, conflicts may arise in this kind of business structure, such as the issue on mutual trust and dependence. As an oligopolistic business entity, the theories, concepts, and methods related to Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated can be assumed to be advantageous on their end. In addition, it can be inferred from the graphs that partaking in an oligopolistic market structure such as but are not limited to telecommunication companies can highly govern the prices in the market. As for the data gathered by the researchers, here is the financial information of Converge ITC's ICT Solutions Incorporated. This includes financial statements, financial and operational highlights, and key consolidated highlights. In terms of costing, variable cost ratio is used to calculate variable production cost as the number of net sales increases. This ratio also considers cost that may be subjected to variation which with change in levels of services that the company can offers and compares them to the amount of revenues generated by the sales of that particular cycle of operation. Also, this ratio is called the contribution ratio or marginal cost. As studying profitability, profit volume ratio shows the relationship of profit as the amount of volume increases. To further analyze the available financial information, the researchers use the financial ratios. First, liquidity. Liquidity ratios are used to measure the availability of the company to reimburse and fulfill both short and long-term obligation. It includes current ratio, cash ratio, and operating cash flow ratio. 
With this data regarding current ratio, the Converge ICT solution incorporated has the capability to pay its current liabilities and the amount of its current asset. As for cash ratio, a firm who has more cash may able to pay its current liabilities was that but does not efficiently allocate its resources to a more desirable way that contributes to the profitability of a company which shows that the company does not maximize its asset. More so, this results from a operating cash flow ratio signals that Converge ICT solution will have short-term problem and need additional capital that will help the company gain more profit to satisfy its current obligation. Furthermore, the researchers use the leverage ratio which determine the amount of capital that comes from debt and used to evaluate the level of debt from the company. Common leverage ratio include debt ratio and asset test ratio, debt to equity ratio and debt to serve ratio, services ratio. As reflected, it debt ratio is higher than its equity ratio, which means that the business utilizes its debt to its funding. This data on asset test ratio shows that the company for succeeding years is not relying much on leverage, which is good indicator of financial performance. With the data presented in debt to equity ratio, the financial state of the company in 2020 is much better than January and December 2019, which shows that the company does not heavily rely on leverage, but rather than on equity, which lowers the risk of bankruptcy. As for the debt service co coverage ratio, the result shows that the company efficiently pays its debt based on the agreement and contract from other entities. Okay, so the researchers also use the efficiency ratio, which measure how well a company is utilizing its assets and resources. So since the asset turnover ratios are low, Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated should utilize its fixed assets and improve their collection method. Also, profitability ratios were used, which measure a company's ability to generate income relative to revenue, balance sheet assets, operating costs, and equity. Common profitability financial ratios include gross margin ratio, operating margin ratio, return on assets ratio, return on equity ratio, and working capital, gross profit ratio, and net profit ratio. So with the results on gross profit ratio, converge can easily sell services. Additionally, the researchers assume that the company utilize its resources by finding collaboration and cheaper labors for the company. Operating margin ratio indicates how much a profit a company makes after paying its variable costs of production, such as wages, raw materials, and etc. In the case of Converge, they manage efficiently at generating profits from sale. So this presentation on return on assets ratio may not be the sole basis of the assessment of the profitability of the company. Yet this is a call for the company to utilize its assets more efficiently so that it will generate more profit in the long run. With the results on the return on equity, the company does not have the problem with its financial status with regard to the return on equity yet the company must strategize on how they can reduce cost and increase profit by using its assets. So as for the results of working capital, the company needs to improve in making assets, generate more profit and funds so that they will have a potential to invest and grow. Converge has increased its gross profit ratio from 2018 to 2020 operations. Moreover, the company had a reasonable profit for the three consecutive years. Converge being involved in the oligopolistic market shows that the company has a higher chance of profitability due to the absence of a lot of competitors. So the researchers also use the market value ratios, which are used to evaluate the share price of the stock of the market. Common market values include dividend yield ratio and ratio of service function.
So with the data presented in the dividend yield ratio, it shows that the company relies on its operations and equity financing rather than leverage, which is a good indicator of financial performance that avoid the idea of bankruptcy. So as for the ratio of service functions, it shows that the company had improved in their cost effectiveness because it gained 2.22 revenue in every one peso cost in, mo in the most recent year. Additionally, the researchers used the horizontal and vertical analysis to evaluate the trends in the financial performance of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated. Presented herewith are the following tables for two comparative years, respectively. The use of this financial research analysis helped the researchers to assess the financial performance, financial status, and capability of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated to finance and invest under good service quality. Based from the data used for this research, there has been an upsurge with the profitability of Converge from 2018 up to the year 2020. The sudden increase in profits are affected by various factors. First, Given the pandemic, internet providers are considered to be a necessity in this trying time. Internet is needed now for the so-called new normal of education as well as working from home method. Second, the growing dependence on technologies. The service offered by Converge is vital in this new world full of digital applications, and these things could not be possible without an internet. Third, people lack choices. Internet providers in the Philippines are very limited and there are only two well-known internet providers in the country which is PLDT and Converge. Because of this reason, they are the main internet providers being availed by the many. This is also a clear indication of being an oligopoly. Fourth, service offer for potential customers which is related to the fifth factor which is advertising in popular media. Advertising is an important aspect in scattering the word of their business and it is important to take note that what they project is a, is a good image to persuade potential users to avail, to avail their service. As for the pricing, the researchers used the cost-based pricing to analyze the behavior of the company. It can be concluded that the company took advantage of the pandemic as internet connectivity is crucial in today's academic and work setup. Even though they have varieties of services to offer, like different speed of internet service, the price of it is much more than its cost. As an oligopolistic business entity, the calculations and outcomes on cost-based pricing strategy shows that the price of Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated is greater than its marginal cost. Its markup rate has exceeded the rate of its cost of services, thus doubling up the amount of its selling price in the market. In addition, it can be concluded from the outcomes and results that partaking in an oligopolistic market structure such as but are not limited to telecommunication companies can highly govern the price they offer in the market. Since Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated is mainly a service entity which provides telecommunication amenities to the market, it has no tangible production costs such as raw materials, cost of goods sold, inventories, and etc. Instead, the company mainly incurs cost of services which matches the revenue earned by the entity. In line with this, Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated has acquired an upsurge in the cost of services of 90.68% from 2018 to 2019 and an increase of 59.08% in the succeeding year. The rates are undoubtedly high, which are not seemingly favorable for the business. They should minimize their cost in the long run to avoid these economies of scale. Converge ICT Solution Incorporation has been profitable for the past few years, but even if they are profitable, it should not stop them from seeking improvements for their business to either maintain or elevate the status of the profit per year, particularly in their service offers. First, the company must allocate sufficient budget. Having a su sufficient budget would be a better strategy in maximizing their budget to continuously aim for good service as well as to continuously satisfying the customer based from their needs and want. Then the entity must add infra infrastructures and further expand its coverage. Having a business expansion has also, also the potential to expose the business service to a different spectrum of consumers and also way to increase their consumer base on 
to improve their sales. Third, Converge must improve their customers. Feedback is part of the communication and to have a proper and healthy communication between the consumers and the business is for the business to listen to the concerns of the consumers and to take an action about it as efficiently as possible. Fourth, the company must focus on providing value-added service. Converge should be able to be flexible and accessible to the consumers. Fifth, the entity must provide hotline numbers for their consumers to easily contact them. In that way, it is much more efficient and much faster to solve the problem as soon as possible. Lastly, Converge must pre prepare a contingency plan for natural disasters. Internet service is important in times of natural disaster that is why if the business would know that casualties are inevitable, then at least the business has plotted a plan in countering these kinds of phenomenon as these kinds of delay would drastically affect the profitability of the business itself. Overall, the researchers aim to present a brief overview of the company as well as the overview of the research study which consists of the general description of the business history, owners, and broad of trustees. From problem statement, research question, objective, purposes, definition of terms, and significance of the study, and limitation of the study. The paper sought to find, wait lang, the paper sought to find a correlation, correlation between the growing profitability of Converge Solution Incorporated with the service quality as part of oligopolistic market structure. The research design process of data collection and method of analysis were also discussed by the researchers. More so, various theoretical and conceptual framework were presented by the researcher to further understand the behavior of the company, particularly on its profitability and service quality. Discussions through analysis of the results were also included, which consist of the presentation of financial statements, analysis of financial ratios and trends, pricing, and discussion of the cost of services. From this aforementioned section, it can be inferred that as part of an oligopolistic market structure, Converge ICT Solutions Incorporated is successful with incomes to their financial performance, particularly for the past three years. Due to various factors such as pandemic, dependence on technologies, lack of choices, and advertising. More so, the researchers have recommended some solutions regarding service quality in relation with the profitability of the business. These include allocating sufficient budget, improving customer service, adding value-added service, providing a hotline number, and preparing for natural disasters in order to improve their overall service quality as they consistently emerge to be profitable for the past few years. Overall, Converge Information and Technology Communication Solutions Incorporated is profitable and successful as part of the oligopolistic market structure. However, it must be noted that together with increasing profits, service quality must also be considered. That ends our presentation on profitability and service quality analysis for Converge Informations and Communications Technology Solutions Incorporated. Thank you so much, Paul. <laughs>